bitterly cold today. It's going to take a while for that section of the canal to rewater. They're only using one pipe as a feed. I cannot imagine divers going into the water today to start dismantling the portable coffer dams. I just cannot see it happening. I will check back later though if I'm not too cold. At the moment I just want to seek refuge on my boat. So I'll catch up with you later. The weather forecast isn't very good today. It's trying to rain now. It has been raining. It's stopped, but it's trying very hard. Looking at my weather app, there's a 95% chance of rain at Yelvertoft from now all the way through to three o'clock. It's very cold. Winds are gonna gust up to nearly 50 miles an hour. So I think it unlikely much will happen today. I won't be visiting the site this afternoon, not in this. It's Wednesday morning, it's been a foul night and it's a foul morning. It should ease up in a couple of hours but I can't imagine any work being done whilst it's like this. Wednesday morning, I've come over to look at the works again. The calvert is absolutely full. All around the entrance to the calvert, the water is at top level. I've just spoken to the operatives on site. Apparently they put a bung in the other side of the culvert as they're working on a sump on the other side of the canal and obviously the bung means the water isn't flowing through the culvert so the water level in the culvert is rising and that's why they're pumping the water out from here into the canal it all makes sense the water level is about 18 inches from where it should be now Wednesday afternoon. I've just come back for another look. The water level in the canal is rising extremely slowly. I think it has altered a little bit but not much. <laughs> the sun has come out which is lovely to see. I'm just going to have another look into the culvert and see what's happening there. just had it explained to me that as well as the small pump running from the generator that I filmed this morning 
they're also using one of the main pumps on the other side of the canal that is the black hose that we see on the other side of the culvert Thursday morning, a much brighter day than we've seen all week I think. <laughs> you can probably see that the canal has reached its natural level. There is some work going on behind me. I'm not actually sure what they're doing with the pipes, but some water did pump out for a very brief moment and then stopped. There's not really a great deal to see here at the moment, so I'll look back later. It's Thursday afternoon about three o'clock. I've come over to see what's happening and as you can tell all is quiet. Looks as though they've finished for the day. I was quite surprised to find the working area around the sump flooded and didn't really understand why that was as I knew they had been working there. You can actually see the ladder <laughs> that they've been using just coming up above the water line. The next day I had it explained to me and I'll go into that a little bit later. It's Friday morning and as you can see the stop planks have been taken out of the marina entrance. This was quite a surprise for me as I thought it was going to happen on Monday. That's what I'd been told and last night I found out that it had been done. Unfortunately I wasn't notified so I couldn't film it. 
I need to speak to someone to find out how the operation went. Uh, it looks as though it was all straightforward. Everything is very neatly stacked up here. So I'm sorry, but uh, you won't get to see the stop planks coming out. How are you? Right. Yeah, fine, thanks. Is it all going to plan? Yeah, just uh, a few technical issues, but we've uh, got there in the end. Yesterday, the sump working area and the culvert were full of water. The reason for this is that the pump had packed up and the water coming through the culvert flooded the work area. So they have put a bung into the culvert to stop water passing through and pumped out the working area. We can just see the digger lifting out the pump now. If I have this correct, the sump catches silt from the culvert and has a runaway pipe underground which drains to a stream running alongside the Bridaway which leads to Yelvatov village. There is also a bypass pipe which runs to a soakaway in the field. The sump chamber is one and a half meters high and has a diameter of just over one meter. I've now solved the mystery of the stop planks being taken out of the water and the opening up of the marina entrance. It was done by the groundsman. He thought it was best to do it. He did it virtually single-handed, although another Mora did help him. He thought it was best to do it because he didn't want a lot of people traipsing around. The ground is very, very wet after all the rain we've had. When we put the planks in at the trial run as it were there was about 20 to 25 people around watching and he didn't really want a repeat of that because it would churn the ground up too much so that explains that um, other people had understood that it was going to happen on the Monday <laughs> but uh, anyway it's done and it's nice to see the marina open so uh, in a way I'm very pleased it's been done and we can go out now. There's nothing to stop anyone from going out cruising. <laughs> In this shot, we can see the temporary roadway that was laid to gain access to the compound. And these yellow boxes are actually the pumps that were used to drain the canal water from the working site. I'd like to thank the operatives from ARP Environment who have been very helpful whilst I've been filming this series. They've been telling me little bits of information which has been of great assistance because when I started filming I really didn't know what was going on. I just had to wait and see what happened on the day. But in later days or later week or so um, I've had a little bit more information so I've been better informed. <laughs> So many thanks to them. In these shots, we can get a better view of the sump and where the culvert enters it.
This looks to be a makeshift method of stopping up the culvert. Perhaps the bung used previously wasn't available. And again, they are pumping out into the canal. As you see, the canal is now open. It's Monday morning. I got very short notification that they were taking the dams out of the water. Hot-footed it over here as soon as I could. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this series on the leaking canal. It has proved very popular indeed, so thank you all for your support and encouragement whilst I've been making this series. It does mean a great deal to me. So I'll leave you with some final shots of the works and wish you all well. Until next time, take the utmost care. Bye for now. I'd like to thank the operatives from on site for their help and cooperation in making this series of videos. It has been very much appreciated. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't yet done so, please do subscribe 
and click the little bell to receive notifications of future videos.